Voices Voix brings together Canadians who are concerned by efforts of the federal government to silence those who oppose its policies. We have documented over 80 such cases. Hear more about the voices of dissent being silenced in Canada from a member of the Voices Voix Steering Committee. Voices brings together hundreds of organizations and thousands of Canadians from coast to coast to coast, people who are concerned about human rights and human rights defenders and the space within Canada for, uh, for debate, for dissent and for democracy. Well, I was one of the initial group of people who came together very concerned about the impact on the work of uh, human rights defenders, uh, organizations working on uh, issues related to advocacy, issues related to promoting change within Canada uh, because of a series of initiatives or actions being taken by the government that we thought were infringing on the space of civil society, um, in some instances targeting people who were speaking out on these issues, in some instances uh, cutting back funding for organizations that had taken positions that were very legitimately part of their mandate and uh, reflecting their values but were seen as being critical of government policy or in opposition to policy positions that the government had taken. Oxfam is an important organization with a worldwide reputation, with a serious credibility and strength in terms of our development program. If we ourselves find ourselves under increased scrutiny and are second guessing from time to time, you know, what we say publicly and dare we say that publicly, then we recognize that it must be all the more important, or rather all the more threatening, uh, all the more uneasy for smaller organizations that don't have the strength, don't have the support, don't have the credibility of an Oxfam. And in that situation, then it's all the more important that an Oxfam speak out. In Canada, we have a social contract. Uh, we have an understanding of the fact that one of the critical elements, one of the critical foundations of our the strength of our democracy and the strength of our society, one of the reasons we are a model for many countries around the world, is because we understand the critical importance of human rights. We understand also the critical importance of a plurality of voices, that our public policy is better, that our public political debates are stronger because there are different perspectives from different sectors and different views that come together to inform our decision making, to inform our thinking, to inform our uh, legislation and government action. And so we think it's really important that as Canadians, we have set high standards, that we defend those high standards, that we recognize, in fact, we often, too often in our past have fallen short of our aspirations and the standards we've set for ourselves, and that it is particularly in moments uh, where we feel threatened uh, that we can't just resign ourselves to the new normal. We can't just resign ourselves to shrinking space and shrinking support for our ability to speak out. Uh, that in fact it's all the more important in these moments that we, that we do so. That we come together, that we um, articulate our commitment to a Canada that uh, respects human rights and defends human rights and that we support each other in that struggle.